Sagittarius, do not tell me that this Mercury retrograde has your pentacles all upside down or your investments, whether those be financial or emotional, all upside down. The four of coins in the reverse and the nine of coins in the reverse. The, the, finally, some coins in the upright with this two of coins sticking out here. Okay, so heavy on the, I feel like... Your mind is on your money and your money is on your mind. But it's been that kind of year. I've been saying that since last year. Sagittarius folks are coming into money, getting things done as far as their businesses. Happiness coming in. The John horse here, the divine masculine. So some of you are working on a business and you're feeling out of control or getting ready to start a new business opportunity and feeling out of control. Could also be a lover coming out of being single and things aren't going your way during this relationship. But it's just a feeling like you're out of control, lacking control, or there's an imbalance and equal give and take here. Okay. We see that part of being single and strong and independent, and balanced and grounded with that nine of coins in the reverse. We see that lack of balance here with this two of coins or trying to find the balance, juggling. Sagittarius, you may be working like a Jamaican and having all these jobs and feeling like you don't have enough time. Pentacles can also symbolize time. You could also be telling me that you're feeling a little bit stagnant here and you're needing to go through some type of transition. Nine and four or nine plus four is 13 which is the death card, transition, transformation. And I feel like you're just needing some change, needing to bring balance back to your situation so that you can get these pentacles up or free up some time, get yourself back on track. Because we see that good times, there's that Disney fairy tale ending, that happily ever after is getting ready to happen to you. But you need to release yourself from this crossroads that you're at. What is this crossroads? We got the, now we got the 10 of coins in the upright. Okay, so good news is coming. This is closing out a cycle into abundance here. So this pain, Sagittarius, is very temporary, whatever this is. And I feel like a lot of this has to do with you being in your head and needing to make a decision to walk away from some things. The father of coins, stability, the most solid and stable king in the deck, being grounded, being e abundant, abundant, having a high moral compass, being mature here. Maybe being mature and walking away into this abundance here. Giving up some of the things that you're juggling, whether it is people, whether it's places, multiple jobs, multiple businesses, people that you're working for, partnerships, and or things that are keeping you all in your head about this, draining you of your resources. And that again, that doesn't just have to be financial. It could be your time, your energy. Okay, so... Sagittarius, let's see what's going on here. Let's get into this two of coins. What are we juggling? The six of baskets. You got a lot going on here. You're being drained by all these things that you're engaging in. The six of baskets being clarified by the six of sticks, Leo energy. This is being celebrated, getting the win. And you could be putting a lot of pressure on yourself. Two sixes right next to each other. The six of water and the six of fire, as within, so without. And I feel like you're without right now. Without energy, without getting a break here. The mother of baskets. Scorpio energy. Again, that, that transition, needing a transition, needing a change, going on, getting into the next level here. And this may be a temporary drain that you're working very hard right now, Sagittarius. And there's a lack of balance in the situation. We see that here with this Libra energy, the Dr. Buzzard, the Justice card in the reverse. Because you've been given, I feel like you've been given a lot of opportunities and you're working. Taking advantage of all these monies and opportunities that are coming your way. All these awards that you're getting for doing all of your hard work. But I feel like you're spent, as they said in Austin Powers. And I'm spent. Tired, exhausted, needing a break here. Because these blessings are going to continue to come in, but you need to find some type of balance here. The eight of knives, you being stuck at this crossroad and needing to release yourself. If this was in the reverse, I would tell you that um, you're feeling stuck and trapped and there's nothing, you feel like there's nothing you can do. But you have the opportunity with all this money and these blessings coming in to give yourself a break. Sagittarius, you have Taurus energy here with the Hierophant, which speaks to contracts, commitment, the marriage card. 
in the upright. So these are contracts and money coming in, earth energy with that Taurus. This is you praying on these things, praying on these blessings or praying for some relief and it is coming. The seven of baskets, some of you are in your head about if you stop working, the six of baskets and now the seven of baskets in the reverse, that you won't have things coming in, that the faucet, this bathtub, that the faucet will just turn off. No, there are other opportunities for you. And as a Capricorn person, you want to work smarter, not harder. And this is that, this is that warning, working smarter, not harder here. And we're going to get a few more cards for this row. Because that's the moral of this, is you're going to have to really take some things off of your plate here to bring some balance back to the situation. So you can go back to being cool, calm, and collected in your house, relaxing, able to have a drink, able to write in your journal and say something positive for a change here. Because you could be trying to work so hard so you're saving all this money that you're almost like becoming a money hoarder, which there's nothing wrong with that. But you need some time to yourself. Let's get into what else does this person need to do to take some things off their plate and give them some relief here. This high priestess, the Miss Ida in the reverse, these are secrets coming out. This is the keeper of hidden knowledge. But when I see this in the reverse, this is that hidden knowledge being um, let go or released. So you could be waiting on what in particular offer here and getting ready. Yes, you're waiting on some type of major offer to come in. Maybe a job or a business opportunity or a major contract here with this Hierophant card to come in and bring you that abundance that allows you to take this break. And you're going to jump on that. But you feel like you have this fire burning. You keep moving and moving and moving. But you're moving so much right now, Sagittarius. With this cancer energy here in the railroad belt, you may even be hurting yourself. It may be time for you to go on a trip, give yourself permission to go on a trip and do some traveling and then get back to this. Because again, I feel like you just need a break. Boom. The card of taking a break, taking a rest, sitting on some things until you're ready to make a final decision here and speak on it. The four of knives. We see this person chilling like a villain here, relaxing. It's time for you to take a break, Sagittarius. Give yourself a break. Give yourself some grace here because these things are still going to be rolling in. You're not going to lose your seniority. You're not going to lose any of these awards. People aren't going to forget that you're still around or that you're still working or doing working on this just because you take a vacation. Or give yourself a break. The Ten of Coins being clarified by this mon mother of coins. We see this person laying in a bed here, coin above their head. You're constantly thinking about either your finances or these goals. Where it is that you're, what it is that you're trying to achieve and how to get there. And you're ignoring relaxation, being wiser. Again, working smarter and not harder here. Moving slow and steady, pacing yourself. That's all this is. This abundance, this these finances, this happy family card here, that's all coming in. We see the marriage card here, the mother of coins, the six of baskets, which is a proposal card. You could be waiting for something to come in in your relationship, but there's a lack of balance in work-life balance for you. That's making you feel upside down about this. What more about this mother of coins and needing to take a break? Exhausting yourself here. The five of sticks. Maybe some of you are worried about what other people are going to say if you take a break. Oh, Sagittarius done fell off. Oh, maybe they're being lazy. Who cares what they have to say? Are they doing what you're doing? No, because if they were doing what you're doing, they wouldn't be talking. They wouldn't have time to talk. Is that, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, Sagittarius. If they were working as hard as you, would they have the time to be gossiping about you or second guessing or questioning what you have going on here? If you're this person in this five of sticks right here, your back is turned to these people. You're not, you're not even really thinking about these people when you're moving and shaking. So now you're worried about them when you're sleeping. Forget those haters. Forget them altogether. This daughter of baskets here in the reverse, very worried about these opportunities being taken from you or these opportunities not coming in. If you get a couple of extra hours of sleep, that is not true. Fighting for what it is that you want. But this is also the seven of six, a warning for you to protect your peace, protect your energy. You being very defensive about what it is that you're doing. You could also be telling me that you and your partner, partner, excuse me, are fighting about all this time that you have spent working here. But for a lot of you, you're working so that you can better this family, this relationship situation here. And so you're just going to have to sit this person down and let them know that this is, again, very temporary because that offer that you really, really want, 
that Miss Ida in this railroad situation here, that father of sticks, I was going to say father of fire, the father of sticks moment that's getting ready to come here, you working nonstop, taking bold action, keeping it moving, you need to do that right now because somebody is definitely watching you from a distance. Now that could be your lover waiting for an opportunity to jump in there. and have a free moment with you, have dinner with you. But I feel like this is more of that opportunity, that person watching in the workplace, that person waiting to give you that big business or that contract here, watching you, making sure that you're on your P's and Q's. And again, that break that you give yourself, taking a few things off of your plate here, taking a break for a couple of days is not going to hurt you unless you do something crazy. So again, this is you being in control of your actions here, but knowing that you need to take your take a break before you burn out. The two of sticks here clarifying this free man or the fool, which is the start of a brand new journey, being carefree, taking that leap of faith. You're nervous about this. You're nervous about taking that break. You're nervous when you get presented with this offer about which way should you go? Should you take this offer? Should you do this when you take this offer here? And I feel like a lot of you are worried about the things that aren't being said here. The five of coins in the reverse, Taurus energy. Again, Taurus three times. Taurus with the Hierophant. Taurus with the five of coins and the father of coins. We started with coins and pentacles here. This is all about stability. So whether it is work or love, which I feel like this has to do more with work that's affecting your love life here. You're worried about the rug being pulled out from underneath you. But really, Sagittarius, because you're such an asset, you're pulling the rug out from underneath people by pulling away or accepting this big offer. And for some of you, it's starting your own business here, mother of sticks, freeing yourself, being strong, independent, a warrior queen, free, attractive, and not just physically attractive, Sagittarius, but attractive in the way that you attract business to you, business partnerships, the way that you're able to network and just you know go with the flow of things. People are very attracted to you and they want to work with you. So there's no downside to this five of coins, two of sticks in the reverse. Mm -mm. No, no, no. We see this 10 of baskets in the reverse now. And that's because you're, you're driving yourself crazy and miserable here thinking about the things that could go wrong. And really, you need to take this break. Chill. You're in the driver's seat. The nine of sticks. You need to let your guard down and let things happen. You're trying to protect yourself by overdoing it here. And again, we see this this almost death card energy here, these skulls, you're working yourself to death about this, losing sleep over this. And again, we know what you're doing it for is for your family, generational wealth, having things, being able to spend your free time the way that you want it, owning your time, being in control of your life fully here, being on top of it, being grounded in control, this father of coins, being independent, and these brand new opportunities are coming your way and things that you enjoy doing. Brand new passionate opportunities coming your way with this ace of sticks. You're stable. You're waiting for this big offer to come in and that keeps coming up here. Boom. Blessings overflowing here. Love overflowing. Bringing balance back to your situation. Passion and love back in your relationships. Passion and love in this work situation that you do. Doing what it is that you love to make money here. Didn't I say Scorpio energy? And we had that with the queen of, or the queen, the mother of cups here. Water energy, the queen of water. With this ancestor, this is a transition period, getting to the next level, moving further, a rebirth. This is you being in that cocoon stage and it's ugly and messy. Only the people that truly love you and support you are going to be on the other side of this with this ancestor's card. So be careful and be tuned in to who's in your corner, cheering you on. Or check it, tapping in with you, even though you're not speaking to them and letting you know they're still thinking about you and they see you. Because there's some haters around you. But with this, these secrets and these hidden things, Scorpio, Pisces, energy here with the moon, this is hidden things and secrets. You may be working on something in private that nobody else knows about here, and that's going to cause this transition moment and allow this passion. You could be working on your own business here. Son of baskets. And then people are coming in to apologize when they see that you've blown up here. But the son of baskets is also a page and pages are messengers of love. These people are going to be showing you love that were hating on you just a minute ago. 
watching, sideline, hating, and now they want to be your friend. Now they want to come and work for you, deal with you, jump on a track with you. For some of you Sagittarius folks that do music here. And a lot of you have just moved on from this. The father of baskets, dealing with those people that are flip floppers. One minute they're in your corner, one minute they're over here. That doesn't have to just be friends and family. That could be lovers too. That say that they're holding you down, but they're really not. And you'll know because you're getting ready to hit the jackpot here with this nine of baskets, traveling, becoming worldly here, being educated, having money, the finer things in life, eating well, living well. And again, for some of you, this is bringing that happiness back or figuring out what wasn't making you happy. This four sticks is a marriage card. Two people coming together here. And this could be that you need to break up with some people because somebody was playing games. That when you were down and out, somebody didn't know how to support you. And now that you're on the upside of things, now they want to be all in your face here. This is a major time of transition and closing out these cycles. Again, of people that really don't appreciate you, people that are using you or acting like they care to have some type of financial gain now that you're on or when they see that you're getting ready to start being on here. And it's going to shock you. It's going to shock you who was really in your corner and who was talking behind your back and doing the absolute most with the judgment card. See, the bones are coming out of the closet. The skeletons are coming out of the closet. You're not going to be able to believe what these people were saying about you. And there may even be screenshots and proof of these things. Oh, yes. But there was somebody waiting in the wings here while somebody was hating, acting like they were your man or your girl while you were on the down. When you were down and out, hating, not supporting you. Here comes this person that was always watching you and loving on you from afar here. Again, this can also be a business partnership or a love situation here. But somebody was holding you down secretly and it's going to shock you who that person is. This is the time that shows you who's real and who's not. This is separate. This is your time period of separating the real from the fake as you elevate here. And this is some truth coming out because some, some people thought that your time would never come here with this father of knives, Libra energy again, these broken clocks and this sword in the downward position. But now that it's in the reverse, it's pointing upright. This is the truth about people thinking that you would run out of time, that maybe you were too old, Sagittarius, to be starting your own business or to be doing whatever it is that you're doing, getting into music here. And then the truth comes out, father and mother of knives. This is a couple at odds. Mm. You had a lover in your corner that was hating on you. You had a close friend or family member that was hating on you. Didn't think that you could do it. And now that you've done it, now they're acting all strange. Now you're going to find out what this person was doing behind your back here. The John Horse coming out here again, like we had in the beginning of the reading. This is all about you gaining control. Finding the balance of the situation, being your own boss, leading, beating, going to the beat of your, moving to the beat of your own drum. Let me say that correctly. And fully being in control of your destiny. Okay? Because people are close to you playing games and sideline hating here. I'm telling you, Sagittarius. And it's going to shock you who you have to turn away, this three of knives. And it's going to hurt you to turn these people away and know that you have to cut them off. But that's the thing. When you level up, you always lose people. Everybody can't come with you on this journey. A tower moment. Again, and this tower is in the reverse because these were things that you needed to see following up on that judgment card. Scorpio Aries with this big house. Aries with that John Horse. It's time for you to clean, clean out the house. Take out the trash and move on here because everybody's not in alignment with your long-term goals here with this seven of coins. Look, having to look over your shoulder at your people. You don't want to do that. These people being manipulative and deceptive, only trying to be in your face for what they can get for you, that financial gain. That also being um, what this nine of coins symbolizes in the reverse. Somebody using somebody for financial gain or to ride their coattails here. Sagittarius, you showing up here in the reverse. Your patience running out here with these people being half in, half out when you need somebody to stand 10 toes down for you. This is a major transition because you've been putting in the hard work. Virgo energy here with the Dr. Grant Hermit mode, separating yourself again from the real and the fake and the lazy people, the lazy people, the haters, the naysayers, these people that don't have your back here. Here you are doing all this work to level yourself up, to have more for your family, whether you have a family now or you're planning on it here in the future here. And these people are hating and that's why you got to cut them off. Ten of knives. Maybe you got to cuss a few people out here with this five of knives and this ten of knives. And remember, this ten and this five is a fifteen, the devil. 
The devil is a card of addiction, obsessions, toxic people, toxic situations, letting go of self-sabotage here. This is you cutting all of that out. Sagittarius, drop these hater signs down in the comment section. Let me know what resonated for you. Drop your sun, moon, and rising. Hit that like button, subscribe, share this video, and do not forget to check out your sun, moon, and rising videos for a deeper look into your situation or these hater situations as well. Um, keep it real, fire signs.